hungry for a winner? Sometimes all you need is a slice. You make this pizza? We swap pepperoni for parlays and give you alternate lines instead of anchovies. Eh, I'm telling you, this pizza idea is really going to happen. From our kitchen to your wallet, sweat with us and throw some pizza money on it. Double meatball, pepperoni, sausage, peppers, onions, extra mozzarella. Welcome to Mitch and Polly's Pizzeria. You know what? We love it. The guys are fantastic. Great open. It is the listeners segment. Uh, I did add two, though. I did go to Rosati's, by the way, Chicago place last week. Uh, I, I love pizza, but the Chicago deep dish. No, it's not for me. I know. I, I can't get there. I try it every time. I'm just like, nah. You know, it's tough. Hey, I did pe- save room. I, I saved room with the cannoli, though. Okay, good move. I love the cannoli. Now, people, Chicagoans will tell you that's not true Chicago-style pizza. As I understand it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going pizza money here. Use check. Anytime touchdown, 10-1. to 1. Almost scored last week. He did score the last time these teams met in the Super Bowl. I think it's worth a shot. Worth some pizza money at 10-1. to 1. And Pacheco, oh, it has all the makings. MVP. Now, it hasn't sap- happened since Terrell Davis in 98. But 30-1. Uh, to 1. I think it was a big game for Pacheco. And he could gash the 49ers on the ground. Much like Detroit did, Montgomery, and especially what Aaron Jones did. That Pacheco, who runs angry and runs with a purpose. Pizza money, Pacheco, Super Bowl MVP. Good luck, everyone. He's the one guy outside of Mahomes who can win it, in theory, right, on the Chiefs. Well, a tight end's never won it. Yeah. So I, I, I am throwing out the Kelsey. So I think, yeah, I think it's Pacheco and then... You know, the love affair with Mahomes. This is a uh, total long shot. But when you go back and look at uh, every single box score for the 49ers in the play-by-play, Hello. they are not afraid to give Debo Samuel a rushing attempt right away and sometimes even on the first play on offense. So if they get the ball first, 19-1 to 1 first rush attempt of the game. I said it, I think, late last week. I was looking for first 49er to get a rush. Still can't find it. But so I'll take a shot here, very small bet on Debo to have the first rush attempt at 19 to one. Also, each team again pizza money here. Each each team scores a touchdown and a field goal in each half, 22 to one. Isn't that strange? First half is plus 340, three, yeah, which I bet, and it's. I guess it's then kind of parlaying them both together. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem that hard but to do though. I got to trust Moody on top of everything else, so. Well, not if, not if it's a short one. Yeah, those are two of my uh, longer shot bets so far. I did bet Debo because I have him to win the MVP as well. I did bet Debo two touchdowns at 12 to 1. A little bit on that just in case he goes nuts and is the uh, is the guy. So other pizzeria bets that we've had from the audience. Ed in Michigan. Hey, Ed. Noah Gray over 11 and a half receiving yards. Combined with Gray to score two touchdowns is 140 okay. to one. Well, here's the feeling good all the time. I, I can't get there with that one, but that's well, that's a bomber. If there's an unheralded player or oh, unsung hero okay. of the game, oh boy, Gray could be a candidate. Maybe Tommy H in New Jersey. Okay, anytime touchdown parlay. You check and Blake Bell 180 to one. The Bell Dozer. Now, if there you good, you're going to see it didn't work out this year. But you want to talk about creativity and expect the unexpected. That's Kansas City. By the way, offensive linemen touchdowns like 40 to 1. They're, they're like capable of doing anything down in the red zone. They've done that quite a few times they in have. the past. They've done that pitch and everything. Yep. Yeah. And, they, and they send guys in motion. A lot of times it's going to be the tight end. And which guys lined up under center, fourth and short, kind of a, at Too the goal Detroit's line. Maybe. not in the game. Well, yeah. God knows what Campbell would do inside the that five would be, Ben I mean, Johnson. I don't think the fat man touchdown would be 40 to 1 if well, Detroit's yeah, in the I game. Know. Yeah. Also, somebody pointed out, how about Travis Kelsey over a half a yard rushing at a big plus price in case he's the guy to go under center and he plunges forward for a one yard pickup? That's available. But they run Wildcat with him, too. I guess that. OK, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you can combine players to score the first and the second touchdown at Lone Man Jeff on X. CMC to score the first touchdown. He did that a bunch this year for the 49ers. And then Kelsey to come back and score the second touchdown of the game is twenty to one. Not bad. How about how about CMC first, Kelsey last? That's thirty-five to one. I saw. Okay. You do that too. Good luck. 
Here you go with uh, Mike Palm readers. He took a shot with the any offensive lineman touchdown, 45 to 1. Oh, that's a good number. Vinny D in Florida. KC minus four and a half. McCaffrey to score, Pacheco to score, and CMC under 91 and a half rushing yards. Again, a lot has to happen here for that parlay to come in. Pays 13 to 1. And then John in Chicago, Travis Kelsey, 100 plus receiving yards, plus 285. Can he go? Can he have that kind of game like Baltimore again? Yes, he can. All right, some of the bets that we got from you, Mitch and Paulie's Pizzeria. You can keep submitting them. FTM at vcin.com is the email. We're also on X, best spot to probably get in touch with us at vcin live at Mitch Moss Radio at Paulie Howard.